Hi, my name is Anna and I'm going to show you all about the hybrid features in this room. We're going to take a look at the equipment, how you can work with it, so that you have the know-how to succeed in your hybrid class. Before we get started though, there's one cool feature of this video I'd like to point out. This video was actually produced as a 360 degree video. So that means you can zoom in to different areas of the video to check out perspectives in the room, or you can even move your viewing device to a different angle so you can get other views of this room. All right, so have fun using that feature while we take a look at all the possibilities here. So in every classroom, there is a smart podium, in essence, a regular computer monitor. There are also two projectors here and here, a regular whiteboard, and a touch sensitive smart board. In addition, you'll get a headset if you're a professor from one of the programs of VU Executive Academy automatically. And if you're a lecturer or a professor from other programs of VU Vienna, please reserve a headset before your class from VU IT services. You can do this easily online through the VU service desk. In addition, there's a lot of other equipment in this room that makes teaching a hybrid class very easy. There are two cameras mounted here in the beginning of the classroom and here all the way at the end of the classroom. There's also a microphone mounted in the center of the classroom on the ceiling that picks up the students' voices automatically. And finally, there's a second screen that is available to show the participants from the online Zoom meetings. So let's get started and turn on everything. The first thing to do when you enter the classroom is to activate the touch screen. Here you can find the on off button. Click it and the system powers up. You can see that the button is now blinking. While that happens, you can turn on the smart podium over here by clicking this button. That powers this up. And over here you want to turn on the smart board by clicking this button. After the on-off button has stopped blinking, activate the cameras by pressing the button Lecture. You'll notice now that the cameras start adjusting their angle while this button is blinking. You may also want to note that you can turn off one of the screens. For instance, if you want to um, use the whiteboard as a regular whiteboard while continuing with your presentation, or you can also freeze one of the screens. For instance, if I kept the agenda of my slides here and continued with the presentation over there. Now you can also adjust the headset volume by clicking this button and then you're good to go. Okay, so we have the basics covered. Now let me show you how to use this hybrid classroom with Zoom so that you can have a hybrid class with lots of active participation. So you'll now need to open Zoom and we recommend doing this on the main monitor here, the smart podium, so that you can really use all the features of the room. In my case, I've already logged in. And once you open Zoom, make sure you to check the settings that you have the right camera selected and also the right microphone and the right speakers. You'll probably also have a presentation, so we've prepared a slide deck for today's demo. And you'll probably also have a lot of online participants in your hybrid class, so I've invited some of my colleagues to join. Here they are, and I'm going to admit them now to our webinar. Great, so now we're ready to start. The first step is to share your screen, and we recommend sharing the entire screen and not just one program. We also recommend sharing the sound, and that just makes it easier so that you can switch between different content without having to worry if my participants can see the content or hear the video. Now let's go into presenter mode for our slides. All right, so you are now sharing the exact same screen with your online participants and the students in the class, and you are basically ready to teach. If you want to show the participants from your online session while you are teaching, we can activate a second screen for you. And we recommend reaching out 
to the reception team or to the VEU service desk to activate this feature. A few more comments now on the microphone and camera settings so that you can teach an excellent hybrid class. Now let me pull up a better camera signal though to show this to you. So now I'm going to stop the sharing and I'm going to see that I'm on speaker view. All right, so the exact camera footage that your Zoom participant sees depends on which camera is activated. Right now, the camera in the back of the room is filming me as if I were presenting to the audience. On the other hand, if you want to have an interactive class and show the Zoom participants the members in the classroom, turn on the button student and this allows the cameras to automatically adjust and locate who's talking. So for instance, if I ask a question to the audience and one of my students starts answering this question, the camera signal is going to automatically change and pick up the location of my student and start filming them. This happens all automatically, so there's no need to adjust anything. All right, so that was just an overview of the hybrid features available in a hybrid classroom. On behalf of the Vienna University of Economics and Business, I wish you all the best for your hybrid class.